Caterpillar D10R, low voltage alarms. This is our voltage alarm. Take this bolt out here, this bolt here. This cover folds down. And there's your access. Straight to the alternator. Look at my exciter wire. Had it routed all retarded. Chafed all the way through. Most of the wire, there's only about half of the strands probably if not less, holding that together. We'll repair that, plug it back in. This is the exciter wire, this is what energizes the alternator. Once it's energized, it'll continue to, pr to produce voltage until it just stops spinning or starts spinning so slow that it can't maintain the magnetic field. Anyway, this is what turns it on. Look at that. Final look at our repair. Put a zip tie around here with a zip tie between the harness and the hard line to keep them separated. Cinch it all down. Just use the butt connector. This is the heat shrink type. These are super tough, by the way. If you don't think these are very good, put one on a wire, heat shrink it down. Cut it just past the metal. Good luck picking that part off. Let's see what we get. As you saw there, that did not fix it. We'll do a little more troubleshooting. Maybe we got a breaker that got popped that was shorted straight to ground, that exciter wire. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's see the voltmeter there. Twenty point three volts. Now this exciter wire, we have no voltage on it. I don't know the charging strategy. I didn't look at a schematic. This may have power all the time. Maybe the computer energizes this once it sees a crank signal. There you have it, guys. Cat's running, no alarm. So I tightened up the belt on that alternator and repaired that wire. Uh, verified the repair and released the cat.